Hey, what's going on guys? Queasy Flips here. Today, let's talk about my channel. As you can see, I just moved into a brand new place and I don't have a bed yet, so that's to come. But now I can spend a lot more time making videos for you guys. This is something that I've been thinking about for a long, long time, just generally making content for people. Um, and I want to start expanding my channel to my other hobbies as well. So you guys all know me as, as a battle song flipper. You know, I, I'm pretty proficient at this, as you can tell. Um, but I'm also really into other things. For example, I also really like yo-yoing. I picked this up when I was pretty young and it, like the skill never really went away. It's kind of like riding a bike. Um, I am a little rusty, so I do have to get back into the groove of things, but my, my basic trick knowledge is still there. Ah. And I'm not just into 1A yo-yoing, I also have tinkered around in the other kind of styles. So 1A yo-yoing is the style where it's uh, one string attached to one yo-yo that is uh, attached to your finger. And most of them are unresponsive, meaning they don't come back up when you flick your wrist. But there's also 4A yo-yoing, which is a yo-yo that's not actually attached to the string, uh, but the string is attached to your finger. And you could do all sorts of things unlike that. Obviously my skills aren't where they used to be, but I hope to try to get better. So this is known as 4A or off string. This is 5A or counterweight, uh, and it's a yo-yo that's attached to the string, but the string is not attached to your hand. So you can actually do some, whoa, gotta watch out for that. As I was saying, you can actually do some, do some pretty funky stuff with it, um, you know, uh, manipulating both the, weight, the counterweight and the yo-yo at the same time. I'm also into like fingerboarding and uh, cubes and all sorts of things. So I'm really excited to kind of uh, show you guys what I can do and just make content for people to watch. One thing though, I am wondering if I should make separate channels for each hobby or just kind of put them all onto the same channel. Um, I kind of need your guys' help for that. So comment down below whether or not I should um, either change the name of my channel uh, to something more universal or create separate channels for each hobby. I also love the sport of skateboarding. I'm not, th I'm not that good, but I would love to, to show that off a little bit. I'm also really into making music, so I play tuba and trumpet and a little bit of drums. Um, just a little bit, but you know, I, I, would, I would love to make content for that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to make a quick little channel update and show you where I'm at. Um, there's much more content to come. I'm going to be posting a lot more regularly, hopefully twice a week or maybe even more. Um, so stay tuned. As always, if you like what you see, hit that like button. If you want to see more content, consider subscribing and comment down below what you want to see next. Peace.